Well, as the sun gets ready to set, I'm going to try to do something that I've never been able to do before. And that's uh, more or less a live video with uh, only uh, one take and no edits. So uh, this is my video on boondocking and uh, why I do it and why I do it in an A-liner. And uh, if this doesn't sound very well rehearsed, it's because it's not. Uh, I'm just ad-libbings, but uh, I'm going to try this. My other videos, it takes usually about 40, 50, 60 shots and about 100 files to actually make it work. And then I spend all my time editing. So this time, this is it. One, two, three, and away we go. So uh, I hope you enjoy this. Um, please give me uh, any feedback as to whether this works or not. Uh, but I'm gonna, still going to make the, the more complicated ones as I go. So uh, I hope you enjoy. So here's my unrehearsed rant on boondocking. Why would anybody want to boondock? Well, let's go for the, all the wrong reasons. Some people just can't afford to, uh, to live in a house and to, uh, to pay rent and mortgage and taxes and everything else. So uh, getting in a vehicle and going to free land, that's very appealing. Uh, it's a lot better than the, than, uh, the alternatives. However, there's good sides to this as well. Um, other people go because they like to travel. And what better, better way to do it than uh, to go around US, Canada, Mexico, um, seeing the sights, seeing nature, seeing other people that share the same interests. Um, some people boondock in Walmarts. I've, uh, I've stayed at least three times in Walmarts. Uh, none of them have been good experiences. Um, it's kind of sad when people do have to stay in a Walmart, um, especially when there's places like this. Um, but, I mean, let's be realistic. I mean, go to RV places and campsites, 20, 30, 40, sometimes $50 a night. What do you get? You sit there in a lot. Um, this gives you a lot more freedom and saves you a hell of a lot more money. I mean, geez. $20, $30 a day if, if you're out there for a month or two or an entire year, that's that's very expensive. And last year I, I did mostly campsites and RV parks and uh, I spent a lot of money. This year I thought I'd be a little smarter uh, and uh, I've been out here, I think what, about four or five weeks now and there's only been one night that I've had to, uh, to go to a campsite and it was only because uh, I was doing a video and uh, I didn't have enough electricity to uh, to edit, so uh, but I fixed that. I've got something I can work with my car now with my Jeep, so uh, now I don't need it. So for the past four weeks, I think um, I've had no power. I've had no RV sites, nothing. I shouldn't say I haven't had any power. I've, I've had no hookups. I do have power. I have solar, and uh, that's worked pretty good. Uh, there's been some cloudy days where I couldn't use my cooler, but that's no big deal because uh, I just uh, buy $2 of ice and put it in a cooler and uh, that's good for two or three days. But uh, days like today, it's beautiful, it's hot, it's sunny. Um, this is what boondocking is all about. You know, I, I just love it. There we go. One take. I hope everything worked. check. Well now I feel inspired. I actually did do that in one take. So uh, let me try another one. Why would anybody want to boondock in an A-liner? Now that's a different thing. So I've got a fold-up trailer. Um, it's easy to get around. What's the advantage to boondocking? Well, first of all, I can get to a lot of little nooks and crannies that the big RVs can't get to. There's a lot of roads that they can't get to as well. Um, I take, you know, it's, it's a smaller footprint, uh, you, you, and, and it doesn't take a lot to haul it up a mountain or anything like that. So, uh, there's a, to me, it's the perfect vehicle for, uh, for boondocking because it's, uh, it's so easy to get it around and, uh, you can, if you have to turn it, um, I can, I just put on the, uh, the wheel and I can turn it myself. Whereas a big rig, you just can't do that. So. There's so many advantages. I, 
I sort of wish A-liners, they made them with solar panels on them, and maybe they'll do that in the future. I put mine on myself, and it's been a... I, I don't know how I would have done it, except uh, I would have to have used generators a lot when it gets cloudy and, and uh, cold at night, but uh, I just don't like the noise of generators, so uh, solar's the way to go. So, yeah, I mean, this is an older A-liner. This is a 2004, but, man, it's just got me everywhere. It's cheap, economical. Um, I mean, I mean, it's easy to modify it. Uh, you know, I put the shower in, and as you've seen in my other videos, um, I can't think of a better vehicle for getting out and seeing the country and doing it at a uh, at a at a less expensive price than if you had a big RV. It's low on gas because it's not towing much. You know, maybe two thousand pounds, and uh, you, you can go to places the uh, the big rigs can't go. So. Uh, a-liners, boondocking, they go together. Well, let's see if that one worked. Well, now that it's morning and uh, I've had the night to think about it, uh, I was pretty, I was pretty happy with the, those two videos I did. So, uh, but uh, there were some things I've missed. And yes, I say uh, a lot. I found that out in these live videos. Um, but uh, what I did miss was uh, risk. In boondocking, there is a certain amount of risk. But hell, there's a amount of risk whatever you do to travel. Um, you go out by yourself, especially into remote areas. Um, you've got to make sure you're prepared. Uh, don't be foolish, you know. Uh, there is a lot of the adventure aspect of it. The uh, Some people are risk takers. I think I'm a risk taker. And the element of surprise and challenge are some of the attractions to boondocking. Um, but for 40 years, I mean, in the 70s, I used to uh, hitchhike and uh, carry a backpack and go out into the mountains. Um, winter, summer, didn't matter how cold it would. If I wanted to go out and see nature, I'd, I'd just do it. That was just me. And uh, they just didn't have any categories back then. To me, it was just camping. Now, I have a trailer, which uh, kind of looks like a tent. You know, an, an A-liner looks like a tent. So, to me, it's sort of like camping. Um, but uh, there's a lot more things to deal with. The technical difficulties, uh, mechanical difficulties. But overall, it's the same thing. I, I still go out, I enjoy nature, I enjoy traveling, I enjoy meeting people. Uh, it's just, uh, I can go farther and uh, carry more stuff. So, boondocking, whatever you want to call it, dry camping. Uh, I don't think I, I don't know what I'd do if I, uh, I couldn't get out and, uh, and see, the, see nature and all that. That's just me. And I think it's probably a lot of you. But uh, I'd certainly like to hear some other comments on, on boondocking. Oh, there's a rabbit going by. Uh, you know, is there something I'm missing? Is there something you wanted to see? You know, send me a line. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to head out. It's a beautiful day. Got to take the trailer down and away I go. So I hope you enjoyed this and uh, please watch my other videos as well. The, the ones that are actually rehearsed and edited. Happy camping.